and I do the Commonwealth Games and Mumford and Sons. These are the topics that had you interested this week. I'm Jennifer Snassi. You're watching News 24 Live. I'm joined in studio by my co-hosts, Jerusha Sikthiorath and Nick Pawson. As always, we are going to talk you through the top three search terms on Google this week. Hello, you two. Hello, Jen. Hi, Nick. Morning, Jen. Morning, Jerusha. It's always nice seeing the three of us in the studio together. It means the weekend is here. Indeed. South Africans were searching for Clive Naidu this week because we all saw that video of him being a little bit attitude-y with a Metro Police officer. She she really just told him how it was. She, she took that and she just went with it. So I really enjoyed that video. You were actually the one who showed it to me. It is my favorite video, one of my favorite videos. That woman is so full of sass and good for her. I want her to pull me over. In fact, people have now been, who've been pulled over by her are taking selfies with her. It's mm. really funny. And now, didn't old Clive go a little bit MIA once, uh, once this went viral? Well, the, he took the video off of Facebook and he actually also made a Twitter account to apologize to South Africa and the police officer. He said he apologized for the way he acted, but he still thinks that the police officer was at fault um, for, for pulling him over and he's still going to open a case. Mm. Of course, Twitter went nuts on him and he ended up deleting that account as well yes. so mr clive naidu got a lesson in the internet this week mr clive naidu at four nautilus road global what was it global Blo global Blo run. run and i think the moral of the story I is i think he's changed his phone number two because that's what's up here he has to move he has to move don't put your personal information on the internet don't do it that's the lesson we all learned it from clive naidu this week Jerusha, we're going to talk about the Commonwealth Games now. This is interesting for me because it involves South Africa and Canada. Here we go. Well, it's going to be a historic Commonwealth Games in 2022. Durban's going to host it. It's historic because it's the first time an African city has ever hosted it. Now, Canadian city Edmonton decided to drop out of the bidding process, saying that it's probably going to be a bit too expensive, which begs the question, if Canada are being careful with finances over the Commonwealth Games, why can we afford it? As Canadians are just good with money. I knew she was going to say that. <laughs> um, it's a great uh, boost for South Africa, but it was a bit of a no, no, no contest, wasn't it? It was. It was just us and Edmonton, Durban Edmonton bidding. Yeah. One dropped out and we got it. So, yay! <laughs> <laughs> Nick, South Africans were searching for Mumford and Sons this week, and I think their ticket sold out in record timing. Tell us about that. Yes, Jane. Well, it was announced on Monday that UK indie folk rock band Mumford and Sons will be touring South Africa in the new year for three shows. Tickets went on sale on Thursday, and CompuTicket announced that these were sold out within a minute. Then the organizers, Hilltop Live, confirmed late on Twitter that the tickets were sold out in one minute and 22 seconds. A second Cape Town show was then added. Those tickets went on sale this morning and apparently were sold out in 10 minutes. Who knew there were popular, so many popular, popular band, fans. guys. Yeah. Sure. I like one for the fans, but I don't have tickets. Did you guys get tickets? No, I'm not a fan. No, well, I'm hoping that there's going to be a couple floating around on Gumtree being flogged or uh, hopefully a kind friend. Yeah, no, I, I missed the bus on that one, eh? So many banjo lovers in South Africa. Yeah, so yeah. many hipsters. So many. So many hipsters. There you have it, what South Africans were searching on Google this week. Let us know what you were looking for in the comment section below, and we'll see you on Monday.